From Earth, we can figure out the chemical composition of a star by looking at the absorption spectrum that it produces. But why do we see absorption spectra from stars? A star is a source of light. Observing its light waves through a spectrometer, we will find a continuous spectrum. A continuous spectrum is made of a continuous range of wavelengths or frequencies. But here is what's called an emission spectrum. There are bright spectral lines against a dark background. An emission spectrum can be produced by a hot gas that is emitting photons of particular frequencies. That is why we don't see the entire spectrum. When we observe stars on Earth, we see spectra like this. This is called the absorption spectrum. Well, what do you notice? This is the exact opposite of the emission spectrum. The frequencies missing from these absorption lines are the emission lines. This means that if we subtract the emission spectrum from the continuous spectrum, then we get the absorption spectrum. These two spectra are categorized as line spectra to distinguish them from continuous spectra. Let's see how this physically happens with a star. A star, like our sun, emits photons of all frequencies to produce a continuous spectrum. But before these photons reach us on Earth, some of these photons get absorbed by the cooler gas around the star. The gas then becomes excited, which means that it becomes hotter so that it can re-emit photons, giving us the emission spectrum if we can isolate just the gas and look at it through a spectroscope. But looking at the sunlight that has passed through the gas, then we will get the absorption spectrum. In other words, the photons that form the absorption spectrum are the ones that did not get absorbed by the gas.